Hello, hello, hello everybody, it's Rizly, and today we're playing Mail Time. Let's do this one, it's pretty cute. Super pale is probably more my style. Like this, kind of blue, interesting concept. We could go for something pink, my hair is now looking distinctly orange. We're gonna pull that back to some sort of a yellow. That's better. It doesn't necessarily match my outfit, but we're delivering mail here. We're not trying to, like, make the fashion statement of the year. Although, if people who I deliver mail to happen to notice how cute I am... Oh, there's color variants! You can't change the hat. But you sure can change your name. And if I'm not gonna be Risley, then I'm not gonna be existing. Lovely little bus, that mushroom is not a part of your head. Makes you wonder if this mail... Oh! Are we there yet? Eee! Oh my gosh, it's a keyboard game. No. Stop asking, you annoying child. <laughs> what about now? Is that me? Okay, well, that's my hair in my outfit. However speaking, my hair is not red, it is blonde. Um, hopefully there's a cutscene in the future where they dye it, because it's very important to my character arc. How about now? No. What about- Stop! <laughs> Let her eat her sandwich in peace. Just because you're driving, child, while she eats her sandwich does not mean that you get to not know where we're going. Will you shut up if I tell you where we're going? Promise. You haven't told her? Okay, she had some rights here. I was gonna say she's being annoying, but there were some rights being trespassed. Alright. Now don't get too excited. We're going to the mushroom farm. I'm gonna shove you into a big pit of mushroom ooze, and you're gonna feel real funky afterwards. And then I'm gonna finish my sandwich in goddamn peace. Well, that seems a bit violent, Janet. Not even my mom, apparently. You're wearing the same overalls, though. But today is your first solo delivery. What? Yes! My ears! New sentence, new capitalization, thank you. Janet, you're not very uh, teacherly for someone who apparently is my teacher in mail. Oh, sorry. Alright, so... So nothing, goodbye forever. Let me continue driving and eating at once. Uh, there are no other cars because we're the only people with a vehicle, so it's honestly fine. Okay, you've got it, right? Yep. Wait. No. One more time. Listen closely to this, then. You. You, Risley. Me? Risley? Oh, you shouldn't have remembered my name. We've only been hanging out and working together for, like, three years at this point. Need to deliver that letter in your backpack. To someone named Greg. Greg Universe? Deliver to Greg. Since it's your first, jo first day on the job. First but not least. Uh, right, yes. You probably know a bit about what it's like to be a male scout. Yes, sir, Janet. I mean, ma'am. I'm top of my class at Male Academy. Oh, well, I'm in the top 10 ish. How many people are in this class? I'm in the top 10 of uh, three. I happen to be in sixth. Mathematically, it doesn't make any sense, but the teacher said I cannot responsibly place you in the order of goodness that everyone else is because you're so much worse. I could have been insulted, but I'm just so gosh darn optimistic that it didn't even insult me. But I'm ready to learn. Well, it's one of the things you learn from the books if you knew how to read. Another thing to learn in real life. Mail Scout Official Handbook, page 12. Oh shit, she doesn't know how to read. I know how to read. Good one, Janet. Try me on another one. Scout, what did we say about interrupting thing? Not to do it? Yes, please try. Before you're ready to deliver your letter to Greg, I first should probably tell you who Greg is. Well, he's the demigorgon who lives at the top of the evil castle. There will be spikes, there will be pitfalls, and there will most likely be death. But delivering that letter is very important. It's my request for a new sandwich. He's a great sandwich maker, him. You should do a practice run. See that turtle over there? I want you to give him this note for me. You might just get something special for it. In case you forgot how your legs work. <laughs> You might get something special, such as a kick in the face from a turtle. Wasadi. Wow, you shouldn't have. Aye, aye, Captain Jan, be right back. Be right back with my new blonde hair dye, because this is not what I'm supposed to look like. I can't even use the beach table. Ooh, I can jump at the distance of... Oh, Bunsy. Okay, well, can I just get up in here? Double jump? My character gets all... I can just shoot into the air when I jump and I stretch when I land. That's hilarious. Oh, hello! You look like someone from Adventure Time. Hi. Oh, that's me. Hi. Hi. Are you here for an autograph? Oh. Uh. Oh, I have to get mail signed before I can deliver it? I don't remember that from the handbook. Oh, no. I meant, do you want my autograph because I'm famous? Are you famous because your shell looks like a hamburger? Oh, what for? 
I'm a track star in training for my next race. Speedy Shelby, they call me. Your name is Shelby. Then this letter is for you. Oh, fan mail. Of sorts? Let's see it then. This is a fake letter. Just pretend that you're reading it. It's her first delivery. Oh, I see. Is that your supervisor over there? That's Janet. She's my boss. Or something like that. I'm not really sure. She just kind of dumped me in that van. Like, I was just kind of walking across the way, and she was like, would you like to deliver some mail? And I was like, um, and then she shoved me in the van, and then I was like, where are we going? And here I am now. In that case... I accept this letter! In the name that all is good, the mail people cannot be defied. It was delivered to me following Mail Scout protocol. <laughs> I am ecstatic with the service I have received. Five stars. No, wait. Four and a half stars. Why four and a half? Who didn't want my autograph? Oops, sorry. By the way, do you happen to know where Greg is? No, not currently. Is my brain is on sport mode. Information irrelevant to exercise can't be accessed right now. Maybe Egbert knows? He's clever. Squirrel man can't miss him. Asking around is the best way to find people around here. Mm, asking people where people are is the best way to find people to ask who people are. Thanks for the tip. Bye, Shelby. Bye, Shelby, with an emoticon of your face, if you know how to read. Peace out, little scout. Aw, oh, you're suave. And you're waving super hard, man. Calm down, I'm not gonna talk to you again. Are we gonna explain the fuzzy bee that's protocoling me, or is this like my tracker? Is this my supervisor in disguise as one singular bee? Chief Janet, I'm back. Visibly. Oh, my sassy grandma. And I heard you gave the letter to Shelby. <gasps> How did you hear that? Wasn't easy to miss. Good job, Scout. This means you've earned your first patch. Dear Scout, congrats. You've earned stamped and patched with love. Woo! Are you gonna tell me what this badge is about? Is it because I'm so dosh darn cute? Or is it because I didn't fall off my hat off? Oh, I, I appear to have fallen on the ground. Yippee, I say, sitting. So what scouts work on a patch system? Once you've done something noteworthy, you earn a patch for it. With every patch, you get a little closer to becoming a real male scout, and then you get paid. But for the first five years, you're simply an unpaid male scout intern. But those are the best years of your life, because you know what happens if you work super hard, and you work double time, and you do all the shifts? You earn the right to deliver twice as much mail. And you get a little better at every delivery. For example, you might have noticed you can jump by pressing space. And by holding space, you can glide as well. <gasps> I did know that. You're teaching me how to jump and I'm already 57, man. That's amazing. I'm literally never going to touch the ground ever again. Well, sure, why not dream big? Anyway, when you deliver that letter to Greg, you'll get your official male scout pouch. You'll be so... you'll be a full male scout for real. I can't wait! Good luck, Risley. I'll be here if you need me. Thanks, Mom. I, I mean, Mrs. Mail. I mean, Janet. Bye. Is Janet's last name Mail? I probably should take some of this huge pile of tool paper with me. If I don't, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to remember how to use the toilet later. I mean, I've only just recently learned how to walk. Okay, we're going to walk past the road into the Tunnel of Doom. The train comes every day at 7. Excuse me, I would like to climb your mushroom trees. Your mushrooms are much bigger than my hat. If someone jumped on my head, though, I think that they could bounce pretty high, so if anyone would like to give that a gander. I don't think this is the way I'm supposed to be going, but it definitely is possible, implying that there are mad secrets, such as this beautiful view of the curly outsides. So the answer was not get hit by a bus, as much as that does appeal to me. We're going to probably have to go forward, and I can't sprint. With the power of one letter that a royal princess who almost squashed me gave me because she felt bad about stepping on my face. A house? A window? This is a rock. Patrick Star? The one and only Knock Knock? Sir? I have the mail. I hope you're a squirrel. I'm looking for a squirrel man. Okay, there's a lot more buildings here and you gave me literally no direction. Am I looking for Greg? Does he live in a broken set of teacups? Does Greg live in a flower? Is he really smart? There's a rabbit. I could ask a rabbit what's going on over there. It's so cute how everything looks like a storybook, though. Money? I'm not supposed to get paid till year four. They're already giving me months. Right there on the floor, it's as big as my face. These flowers look like a cornfield. Hey, you look like you know things. The inside of your tree 
is a little light, I would say. Mail Scout. Come here. I need you to send a letter for me. Well, you look like royalty. Oh? What you sending? A cease and desist. <gasps> to a child that crushed me. <gasps> that seems a bit like overkill. How about we just go straight to the police? I don't know if you want to do a cease and desist. I mean, two steps when you could just go straight to the police and have them arrested just seems like a lot, you know? I'll have you know, this child robbed me in broad daylight. I was walking with my coin collection. The bag was open. I was letting the coins breathe the fresh air. And then I happened to throw some at his face. And then I said, hey, would you like to come back home with me? And he said no. And I was like, god damn it. So now I have to cease and desist you. Then it was interrupted by the vermin child. I think his name was Cedar. She saw the glinting of light that was fascinating by my clown. Was one of your coins happened to be inside of a stump? Because I might have stolen it. But it's not stealing because you weren't standing next to it when I found it, so I will not return it. Advanced mail. Steal money while delivering. I mean, that sounds amazing. If they're not going to pay me, then I'm going to pay myself. You got to be proactive with the mail time. You know, it's a very, it's a very competitive business. But I only had so long to walk before I had to get back to my business. The landlord business, you see. Mmm. Yes, Kiki, I, I have a special feeling in my heart that people don't like you very much. Truly time-consuming. Oh my god, this, this like, five-year-old child knows that they don't like you very much. <laughs> Annoyed. Anyway, I must say, seeing a young fellow coin enthusiast, it was nice, it's just not as popular hobby around here. What, because you can't actually buy things with this? I generously offered that rabbit cedar. Admire my coins. For one hour only. And immediately bring them back. Wait, you gave her a dollar and said bring this back in an hour? Well, Scout, it's been 61 minutes and my paws are empty. Now I must resort to stronger... This person is trying... She planted evidence on a child and said walk away. And the child didn't come back fast enough, so she's actually gonna call the cops on them? <laughs> Is murder an option? It seems fit for the landlord cat. That's true. Um, I think that I can't commit murder until I'm a male scout level 3, though, when they give me my candy dandy uh, letter opener. At which point, the stabbings will commence, and I will remember this cat. Even if it is named after a Studio Ghibli thing, I still must come back for it. Or else that child will walk all over me. Nobody messes with Kiki. Nobody messes with me and my giant bow and bell. I don't think he's going to be sneaking up on anyone. Don't you think this is disproportionate? Cedar is only a minute late. If you were paid to ask questions- Well, it's been like five minutes at this point. If you were paid to ask- I'm not paid at all, lady. Wouldn't you be called a question scout? Girl, you ain't paying me nothing. You gotta hold your mouth. Well, I mean- No, oh, but you aren't a question scout. You're a male scout. And I have mail for Cedar. And she slaps me in the face with a letter. So why don't you run along and deliver it? Fine. Glad we agree. My first real job. And I'm already going to commit arson. I, I gotta say, Mr. Kiki, your house is looking pretty flammable. I'm gonna steal your apples, though. You got magic-ass apples. Oh, there's apples all over the place. I thought that person was cool, but she's actually just kind of, like, super samey. Hey there, child. You are proportionally very small. Cedar? Oh, yes. I mean, depends. Who are you? I'm Risley, the male scout. In training. In training. I'm still training, so if I give you the last letter or the wrong letter, you can't be mad. What was that last part? Nothing, nothing. Unfortunately, I have a not-so-nice letter from you. To you from Kiki. Oh, crumbs. I spent all of her money on more knives for my knife collection. Kiki's gonna make me a lucky rabbit foot charm out of me. I just know it. Why? If you give him his coin collection back, I'm sure this will all blow over. And I can't believe the collection should be very large, because I don't think you could hold it. That's just the thing. I lost all the coins. I'm beginning to see the problem. <laughs> I met Kiki while he was walking by here. As soon as I got my paws on the collection, I hopped off searching for a great spot to admire it. But I didn't realize the bag was still open. Now all the coins are lost. The coins were bigger than almost your entire body flying out of your hands and, and you're saying you lost them hmm? you lost them or you thought it would be funny and there's no real police system so you just kind of stole them hmm cedar is that what's going down here now all the coins are lost i have no clue where to find them can you help me i'm afraid of what kiki will do if i show up without them 
Fret not, little one. I'll get you those coins back. Oh, thank you so much. If there were four coins in the collection, please come back when you found them all. Are you going to pay me? I could go find these four coins and then ignore this entire plot line and just have four coins, though. A log. I think that's all I really need in life. One coin and a log. Five dreams. If I come back, a dice. What is this? Is it just like a human human crap is falling in this little like wood crater? Are we just in one big stump? If there happens to be any shiny doubloons, I would sure like to stick them in my leaf pack. Hmm. Ain't no way that kid is tripping over four cents. Yeah, it's not even... He can't even use the money for anything. He said it's like a collection... Oh, what is happening? Ah. Are we like throbbing inside of a mushroom here? <laughs> Pennies are big, but big does not necessarily equate to valuable. Can't believe these kids these days. Oh, a child! I haven't seen one of you in years! Didn't see you there. You shouldn't sneak up on an old man like that. I kind of want to back out of the conversation just so this weird uh, throbbing thing stops happening. I'm right in front of you. Maybe you need glasses. You're wearing glasses. <laughs> oh, never mind. How embarrassing. How many pennies equals a cat? Depends on the cat. Kiki is equated to probably like one tenth of one penny um, because he's rude. But another cat would be many pennies. Well, let's just have a look then. Who's this? Maybe I really do need new glasses. You can't see me at all. Oh, no worries. I'm the new... I'm new to this stretch of town. I'm a male scout here on official male scout business. Risley, nice to meet you. Thank you, likewise. Well, don't let me distract you from your work. Okay, thanks. I'm so glad this... No, stop talking to me, please. I'm having a medical emergency. Every five seconds, demons spawn and, like, throb on my screen. <laughs> Unless you're willing to help this old man out. I am not. Please let me release. Release me. Like a little side quest. I have two of those already. I, it's going to take me 15 years to do my first delivery. See, it is a way to gain experience, so you're not going to pay me either. Nobody here likes payments. Well, our number one rule is to serve the community. Actually, it might be our number rule 38. Anywho, what's the sitch? Stitch? Sitch? Situation. You youngsters and your slang. Well, my upstairs neighbor is getting on my nerves. Seems to be a matter of upstairs neighbors. They blast their rock music at the most tiresome hours. Like 8 p.m. and the noise is driving me insane. I had to go up there and speak to some sense to them myself. But I just hate talking to young people, so I'm just kind of lazy about it. My knees aren't what they used to be. You can't climb. Could you hand this formal letter of complaint? Sure thing, Gramps. Thank you for the trouble. Okay, so now that everyone, um is having a seizure because of the epilepsy warning that was just going on right there. Let us climb to safety. Is that your neighbor? You said your upstairs neighbor, but something tells me that your upstairs neighbor actually lives in a matchbox for the next house over. Excuse me, um, I mean, maybe there's a staircase inside your house? If you would so kindly allow me to gain entry so that I can do the thing you asked. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. Lady Goose McGee, you look delightful. Do you have arms? No, but your legs are really thick. This person does not skip leg day. Hello! What are you doing out here? Just delivering some mail. Sounds fun! What are you doing? I watch over my turnips. I'm hoping they win this year's Harvest Festival in the smallest turnip category. Ooh, simply bite off most of it and turn up the stump that you don't eat. Wow, those are tiny. Thanks! <laughs> are they? Icebreaker. Woo! I got the patch for talking to someone in an awkward fashion. If only real world allowed you to get stuff like that, because icebreakers are literally the worst. Small talk is horrendous. I went that way. You gave me a mission I didn't ask for and forced me to be flashed in the face for a few years. Or I could go pick up some trash. I'm supposed to be a member of my community, so I think that if I just go pick up some trash, am I tall enough to get this? I'm not. We're diverting immediately. I've already lost the chance at climbing this well. Yeah. Oh, yes. Ah. Okay. So we're lost in the woods. If we get back to Mr. Squirrel sometime in the future, we'll direct him to uh, one big lens he can hold in front of his tiny face. A snail. With arms. Wow, advancement. Hello. What are you doing here? Hi. I'm delivering mail. Ooh, that sounds fun. My name's Donna. How about if everyone thinks it sounds so gosh darn fun, anyone else be a mail scout instead of giving me all your work? Hmm? What's your name? Risley. It's great meeting you, Risley. What are you up to, Scout? I'm working on this big delivery. For someone named Greg, do you know him? Oh, I'm sorry. He's only the Overlord. Ruler of all and destruction of all. I'm pretty new to the area. I, I feel like you've probably been here for a while, otherwise... 
He's so slow, you know, he got into town, and he's been in the town for like a year, despite the fact he hasn't met anybody yet. No worries, thanks anyway. Oh. You don't even want anything? Perhaps some big glasses or the world's tiniest turnip, because I will totally steal one of those for you. Followed by escaping this. I'm in a whole new area now. Is that supposed to be on purpose? Well, hopefully this person likes things. Cecil's parents? Mayhaps? Hiya! Daisy's the name, running is the game. What's up? You're gonna write- you're gonna fight that turtle I met earlier. If you ever need any vegetables from the farm, just let me know. Oh, will do. I don't have a, any space in my backpack right now. But maybe another time. You're always welcome. I would like, um, two baby ladybugs. Are the ladybugs up for grabs? I have a nice envelope that I can fly from, but I would love to fly on some ladybugs. Hello, dear. Hello, Annie. Are you a hedgehog? She will lose to the turtle. Legend tells of it. Hmm, it is scrawled on the walls. I can't believe I've seen you around here before. Care to join us for a cup of tea? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm on the job. Thanks for the offer, though. I say, having social anxiety and not really wanting to stay. The name's Annie. Nice to meet you. My name's Risley. I'm a male scout. Today's my first day. Wonderful. You're just who I was looking for. Really? She was like, yes, I was looking for a fresh new child who no one would miss because they don't have any parents to join me for a cup of tea. Really? What a coincidence. I need you to ask you a big favor, hun. Just go into the shed, back door. It's open and free and you would lovely fit inside. How big? Like gravel big or stone big or rock big or boulder big? Because I don't have enough space in my backpack for a single gosh darn carrot. So if you're going to give me anything bigger than that, I'll have to say no. Hmm, not actually that big. I need you to deliver a letter to the duck. Heck yes. Luckily for you, that's my expertise, because she's one of the three people I've met already. But it's a secret letter. You can't let Haley know I sent it. Okay, I'll hide it in the dirt. Annie, that's suspense. Please tell me what's in it. It's just some things I need. I think she needs to hear. What kind of things? Like good things, bad things, funny things? Revealing the fact that her cooking is disgusting and you really wish she'd stop bringing it to all of your tea parties? Risley. Less imagination. More mail delivery. Why? Why? Everyone is so mean to me. You you have just met me just today. Apparently, I, I can get it why there's no mail carriers in this town currently, because they're not paid, and Kiki's a jerk, and everyone, even the nice people, seem to be kind of rude to me. <laughs> Please, I wouldn't ask unless it was important. She's the nervous type, and I happen to know there's something big on her mind. I hope this will help her calm her nerves and let her do what needs to be done. She has to kill the child she's keeping in her basement. It smells really stanky and it's creeping up the neighbors. Okay, fine. I'll do my job. Quietly. Thank you, honey bun. Now run like the wind. Bring my anonymous note to Haley. Whoosh. Okay, um, problem with that concept. Can I get back out? I can get back out, but also I fell quite a great distance to get here, and I'm not certain I can get back. Can I just go ahead and, and like, steal this? I I'm gonna say that this probably isn't gonna function super well, given the, uh, the buttons are on one side of it. Maybe if you made it, like, a full, like, full wheel situation, that would have worked. Flashing to Disney World's Winnie the Pooh ride, uh, which has the most terrifying, dark, rainy, loud sound, crazy crap that happens halfway through in the sad part, traumatizing children everywhere. And by that, I mean actually children probably love it, but the adults feel like it traumatizes them. Can I climb this? Are you the- uh, how many white rabbits are in here? Oh, uh, hello. I say surprised, even though I walked up and asked this person to talk to me. What's going on? You have to whisper. I'm afraid mom will find out what happened. Your mom, Daisy, I say, screaming at the top of my lungs, despite the fact that Daisy is, like, a mile away at this point. She's not close by. Even with big ears, she won't be able to hear you. Okay, if you say so. Well, I have a bit of a problem. I love stars. They make me feel so excited. So I stole some, and now I've got all the stars, and the sky is naked. Isn't that sad? Didn't you know that stars are really far away? But with a telescope, you can see them as if they're very close. For sure, it's like you're right next to the stars. That didn't sound like a problem, really. Well, I was looking through the telescope at the stars, and there was a meteor I was trying to see. Hey, meteors. It's interesting that they're putting all these extra vowels into this, but I, it's still pronounced right, meteors. It's not like she's saying it weird. But some meteors, unless she's like country. I like stars, they're shooting. Did you, did you know that? No, that's so cool, I say, knowing the thing. That's kind of how you have to talk to children, though. As I was trying to find the meteor, I was swinging the telescope around a bit. 
turns out I was swinging it a bit too much. Before I knew it, the telescope was broken. And now the stars are far away again. Can you help me fix it? Uh, that does not sound like a male prerogative. I'm gonna have to direct you to the police. For wasting my time, that is a capital offense. It looks like the lens is broken. It's a bit of a thick glass and I happen to know where some glasses are. Would the lens from a pair of glasses would work? Yeah, that would work great. Okay, I did see some around here, but I don't remember where. It was either near Kiki's or Donna. It was near Donna. Don't worry, Snowdrop, I'll figure it out. Did you tell me your name was Snowdrop or am I psychic? Thanks, Risley. Don't tell your mom. I'm gonna tell your mom so gosh darn hard that you will not step foot outside of your room for the next 15 years, child. So I know we're- oh hey, we walked in a big circle. 